So in this video, we're going to talk about surety bonds. We're going to talk about what it is, how they work, where you can get one, and how they benefit you as a business or a consumer. A surety bond in general is a way to ensure that a business or some professional completes an obligation that they have. Sometimes it has to do with a job performance. Sometimes it has to do with a, a professional license or a business license. And it ensures that, for example, a general contractor completes work on a job. Uh, it may ensure that a financial um, expert or licensed investment provider does things properly and doesn't embezzle money. It may ensure that an attorney does not commingle funds. So it's something that provides comfort and security to a client to make sure that the professional they're dealing with works properly. If the insured business does not do what it's supposed to do, the bond or the bond's guarantor, which is the insurance company, is financially liable to you, the customer. So that's the benefit to you. Surety bonds sometimes are called business bond insurance. It's really not an insurance policy. It's a, it's a uh, financial security. And you can buy one from an insurance company, but it doesn't work the same as an insurance policy. It's not a hazard-based uh, instrument. You may need a surety bond as a company to meet a requirement on a license or on a contract, especially business, I'm sorry, especially government contracts. Many government contracts require that the company bidding on the contract obtain a surety bond to make sure that they follow through and they complete the work. That way, if they don't do the job, the bonding company pays off. Sometimes other types of licensed businesses like car dealerships, liquor stores, need surety bonds to get their license and get permits because if they cause damage to consumers, that surety bond basically pays for that damage. There's a, another type of bond called a fidelity bond, which is a little bit different. It protects against losses from theft or fraud that a company might do. Sometimes it has to do with employee theft or let's say an armored car employee steals the money that would be covered by a fidelity bond. Bookkeepers, cleaning companies, moving companies a lot of times have fidelity bonds. It has to do with fraud or theft. A surety bond is a written document. Can't do it verbally. You can't do it any other way in other than in writing. And it has three parties. It has what's called the obligee. That is the party that requires the guarantee that work will be done, like the client in a contract. It has the principal. That's the business or the party that's hired to do work according to that contract. And then the surety is the company that issues the bond. They're kind of like the insurance company. And they guarantee that the principal will meet the obligations and pay off if they don't. Usually that's an insurance company. Uh, but either way, they're financially liable to the obligee if the principal doesn't follow through. So how does a surety bond work? So let's say your company is hired to do a job. Let's say a local government hires you to build a bridge. The government agency wants to know that they're guaranteed that you will do that work properly in a certain amount of time, in a certain budget. Um, you'll get permits and you'll do it according to what the blueprints are. The agency that hires you, the, the government agency in this case, is the obligee. And the company doing the work, meaning you, are the principal. The surety is that third party. They write that bond guaranteeing the work will be done according to the contract. And th that contract terms and conditions are included with the bond. The surety's role is to assure that government agency that you're going to do the right thing. You're going to finish the work. If you don't finish the work or don't do it properly or there's some other defect, the surety will pay that government agency. They will pay to, to repair it, to fix the defect, to finish the job, or whatever the loss is. But unlike an insurance policy, the surety then goes back to you, the principal, and recoups the money back from you. The reason that that is not like an insurance policy is when you put in an insurance claim, 
let's say in your car insurance, you, they don't come back after you to get the money back, right? And you might think, well, what good is it then if I have to pay it anyways? Well, what good is it? It makes sure that the um, obligee knows that they have money available to them, that you're not just going to file bankruptcy and disappear. Bonds are usually used to guarantee business will complete the job following the rules. Uh, it can help you as a company get more contracts um, and compete with bigger companies that are bidding on contracts because sometimes a client won't want to hire you as a potential um, vendor if they're not sure that you're going to follow through and you don't have the money to fix it if you fail. Um, it reduces the risk of the obligee by working with you or a smaller company because it acts as kind of a deep pocket guarantee that they can recoup losses if you fail to finish the job. There's a couple types of bonds you might want to be aware of. One is a bid bond that covers the project if a contractor wins a bid but does not end up signing a contract. So if you put in a bid for a project and you win the bid, but then you back out at the last minute, the bid bond will cover that loss for the potential client. There's a payment bond that guarantees that the project owner will pay bills for labor and materials to the subs and not leave them with mechanics liens. The performance bond is what we talked about, making sure that the the contractor does the job and, and does it according to the scope. And then there may be a, a bond after that, which is a warranty or maintenance bond to make sure that if there's any defects discovered later during a period of time, then it's also covered. There's commercial bonds and there's um, public sector bonds, government bonds. And they pretty much do the same thing, but it depends upon who's purchasing that instrument. Well, how do you get one? Well, if you're a business that needs to get a bond for your license or for a, um, a contract, the first thing to do is contact your existing insurance company. Whoever writes your normal business insurance probably can get you a bond. But there's other companies that write directly. You don't have to go through your agent if you don't want to, uh, but they can probably help you because they already know your business. Uh, many of the um, types of bonds that are a little unique, for example, vehicle title bonds or litigation bonds or appeal bonds for a court, sometimes you have to go through a specialized broker or an excess and surplus lines broker. The SBA also guarantees some types of bonds. Uh, that way it reduces the risk for that surety company so that way it has a lower cost and maybe they'll write something that normally they wouldn't write as an in, uh, insurance agency. So think about a bond as an alternative to putting up a letter of credit or putting up a deposit. It's a way that you can get your potential client to look at you with the same type of financial horsepower as they would a larger player in the industry. If you're applying for a certain license, like a general contractor, private investigator, attorney, bookkeeper, accountant, you may have to get a surety bond just to get your license. Many government agencies that issue licenses require a bond in order to issue the license. That's why you've heard the phrase licensed, bonded, and insured. So if you are in certain industries, you have to have a license, you have to have a bond, and you have to have a form of insurance. So if you're applying for a business license that requires a surety bond, same thing. Start with your current insurance agent. If you don't have one, make sure that when you're speaking to a potential broker that you talk to somebody who can also issue bonds and it also specializes in them. There's some agencies that have no um, experience with writing bonds because they focus primarily on property and casualty insurance and not the surety bond market. Hopefully that answers your questions. If you do think of other questions or comments, put them below in the comment section. We'd be glad to hear from you and we can add those answers to those questions in future videos.